Today I got an Asus laptop. Uh, I'm going to show you how to open it up to get access to the hard drive inside in case you want to replace it with a two and a half inch SATA SSD. They're a little tricky, but I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, what's up? Dale here. Today I have an Asus laptop. Uh, it's an older one. It's a sixth generation Core i3 processor. Um, basically, it's going to be a quick video. I'm going to show you how to open this thing up because this is a, the model of this Asus is F556U laptop. Uh, there's an F556L, several of the 556 series that look almost identical. A lot of them lifts up the, the, the palm rest separates. You get access underneath that, but in this one, it's the opposite. The bottom cover has to come off. But it's a little tricky, but I'm just going to show you how to open it up to get access to that hard drive, which is located right here. And that's what I'm going to do. This is like that dark blue color. I don't know if you can see that. Um, we sold a crap ton of these back in the day, but this one does still have the original hard drive in it running a little slow. So we're going to put a two and a half inch SATA SSD in it. I'm going to do a clone. I'm going to do that off camera, so to speak, and then just put it back in and boot it up, tune it up, and it'll be ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is remove all the exposed screws here. I've already done that. Um, there's two different length screws here on, the, on these exposed screws. This one, this one, this one, and this one on the sides are quite long. These other ones in the corners and along the front are very short. So just lay them out in a pattern where you know what screw goes back in what hole. So we are going to open up this little access panel here to get access to that because there's a hidden screw under here we have to take out. So just I'm using a number zero Phillips screwdriver. Just going to pull this cover off. That's where your memory or RAM slot is. But there's a screw hole or a screw right down here in this hole right here. So we have to get that out of there. Then in the back, very short little screws come out real easy. Um, then in the back here, we have to take off this rubber foot right here because there is a screw underneath this. So I'm just going to use a real pointy little tool here to get under there without buggering it up hopefully. And just kind of pry it up, self-adhesive. And like I said, there's a screw right here underneath this foot. So we want to get that out. You get prying on it going around and the corner ain't coming up thinking you got the only screw out but they hide one here but not over on this side. So we only got to take off that one little foot. <laughs> CD-ROM drive stays in, don't have to worry about that. So now that you've got all the screws out, we're going to separate it along the seam here where the black meets the silver here. Um, you can try to start in a corner or in a back corner is what I usually do with my little plastic spudger tool or some kind of a pry tool that won't booger up the chassis here. So it's just, you got to be patient. These are a little stubborn to get going. So I got it started there in that corner. If you can see how I kind of opened that up there a little bit. But you don't want to just be reefing on it because you got all these ports here. You don't want to damage anything. Um, this, <coughs> I've had a lot of these open. This little I.O. board that's inside here where these USB headphone and SD card slot is, that I.O. board is held in by these two screws that you take out right here. So it's just going to kind of be floating around in there, so be conscious of that but once you get this cover off here. So I'm going to slide along the front here and also be careful along the front here where your little LEDs are for your power and charge and hard drive activity. Be careful what you poke in there. You don't want anything really long basically. So once you get it started, you can gently, don't force it, I'm going to use my nylon little spudger tool here to get back here in this corner to get it started. It'll let me. There. You can see I kind of got it started right here like that. So just gently work it along there the best you can. Take your time. I'm just kind of putting this in and turning it and pushing it up. These corners can be a little, <clears throat> a little stubborn. Come on. Just be careful around your exposed ports there. That's the biggest thing. And you'll get to a spot where it just don't seem like it wants to come, but you just have to kind of gently work it and jiggle it like I'm doing here. And then eventually it'll jiggle right off. 
Okay, guys. So, like I said, just moving quick here. This little I.O. board right here where the SD slot, and USB, and headphone jack are. This is just kind of sitting in there because those screws for the bottom pan hold that in place. But we're going to get that out of there anyway because this is our hard drive right here. And I am going to clean this fan out and stuff before I button it back up. And here's your one RAM slot. It's got a four gigabytes of memory on board and one expansion slot, which is right here. And as with any project like this, always make sure you're protected against static electricity before you start poking and prodding around in there. But we don't need to touch any of that. So we're just going to go over here. And I'm going to flip up this little black bar right here to get rid of this or disconnect my cable here. And we'll just, we'll just get this out of the way for the moment. Set it off to the side. And here's our hard drive bay. There's two mounting screws, one here and one here. And this is going to slide back just like that. To a kind of, and then we're going to take that out. I'm going to clone it and put the SSD, the two and a half inch SATA SSD back in there. Now I did not, <clears throat> I did not remove the battery. As you can see, the battery's still in here. I'm not going to be farting around over here. Just be really careful. If you want to take the battery out, there's just a few screws. One here, one here. Uh, looks like that's about it. And you can lift that battery pretty much right out. It plugs in right over here to the, to the main board. But I'm just not going to do that because I've done this before and I'm careful for a hard drive. Anything else, I would definitely take the battery out. <clears throat> like I said, just remember where screws and stuff go. So let's just slide that back just like that. Lift it out and away from your motherboard. And here's the old Toshiba hard drive. We're going to put the SATA 2.5 inch SSD back in here. So just move it from the caddy. I'm using a number zero here, probably. Did I bring that over here a second, guys? Yeah. A number one worked just as well to get these screws out, but. Just use good quality tool, tools nonetheless when you're doing this stuff so you're not struggling and messing up screws and dropping screws and all that fun stuff. So that comes out just like that. There's our little caddy. I'll just stick that over there for the moment. But I'm going to go ahead and clone this. A clean install is not an option on this. so. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm basically going to clone. I'm not going to show you that. I do have lots of videos on various cloning methods on my channel. You can check out uh, many different ways to do a clone. But we just, in a situation like this, when we're kind of mass production here, we just, I got one going right over there at the moment. Uh, I'm going to get this one started. Just get them cloned, get them back in, tune it up, get it running good. So when you put it back together, just kind of do everything in reverse and you should be fine. So I just wanted to show you how to open these up. I had a couple of hidden screws. I hope it was helpful. Um, give me a like, a subscribe would be awesome, and I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.